welcome back. This is week four, and in week four, we are going to talk about assessment because you're probably two or three weeks into the school year and maybe ready to give your students um, some of those first pieces of assessment on the things that you've been teaching. So our assessment tab is right here. I'll click on it. And whenever I click on this, there's key things to remember here. Over here on the left-hand side, you'll see that Chapter 1 is highlighted. So basically what this is telling me is beyond these first three icons, which these will remain consistent for any chapter, underneath there, this will be all the assessments for the entire chapter. So let's just pick a favorite chapter here. How about Rational Numbers? And whenever I go into Rational Numbers, the first part will be all the different Are You Ready's? From there, I can scroll down a little bit, and this will give me some different chapter quizzes, vocabulary test, and as I continue to scroll down, I have the extended response. Then I have six different forms of the test. For example, this is test form 1A, and it tells you every time I drag over it that there's six different forms of this chapter test. Um, beginning with the approaching level, going all the way through the beyond level. So take a look at those and scroll over. One of the other considerate things I remind you about is that McGraw-Hill put these um, every time we put a test or a worksheet, what's right next to it. Yes, your answer key. And then also below all of these, you will find PDFs of your test because sometimes, depending on the type of word processor that you're using, the math symbols may not come out super nice. So this will make them all come out nice and easy if you need the PDF forms of these tests. The very last thing that will be there will also be the performance um, task. And now that performance task is found in the chapter review section in the interactive test, but here's just a crisp, clean copy of it. And what's also nice here, of course, here is your rubrics. Now, there is a set, another place to find this rubrics, and that is in your plan and present, under plan and present. But sometimes it's just quicker to go over into assessment. Uh, several key things to point out here on the, uh, on the rubrics. It'll give you your mathematical standards, your practices, and then your depth of knowledge. So these will range from DOK levels 1 to 3 here. Please go in to the assessment tab, choose your favorite chapter, scroll down and look at the many different types of assessment. Maybe you've already used several in your classroom and pull one up such as this vocabulary test. Take a look at it maybe even assign it to your students. As we all know in mathematics, vocabulary is a huge part of the, of the game here, so ensure that your students are doing well on the vocabulary. Remember, all these are editable, so you can go in and edit it, but I encourage you to go to our Quick Start forum and discuss with your colleagues maybe your favorite type of assessment that you found in the Glencoe Math Assessment Resources, or Share with your colleagues uh, a piece of assessment that you've already used in your classroom and how your students fared on it. Thank you.